Did I mention the onions? Oh yes. And the onions. And the onions. Oh yeah. And the onions. Hi, it's Amy. Welcome back to Hummingbird Hill. And we are going to take a little visit down into the garden. I have my hat on and as you can see it has a lovely neck protector which is only partially destroyed after Peanut the Pocket Pug got a hold of it when she was a puppy. It still works though. Um, being sort of pale, it's sunny as you can see, I need to keep as much covered as possible which during the summer when I prefer to be wearing tank tops etc is kind of annoying but necessary due to the whole skin cancer issue. Ew. Oh, I can't see it all right now. It's super bright. I may not use this part. <laughs> I realized I've been out working and getting stuff done. You can't see me so well. Let's try this way. Yeah, that's better. Um, I have been out working and getting things done and I realized, wait, I don't have a video for tomorrow, which is Friday and I'm supposed to post a video. And I also realized we haven't taken a look at the garden for more than a minute, at least the raised bed end of the garden, because it has been raining and I have been focusing on the hay bales. Today, we're gonna take a quick tour of the raised beds. One, because my phone's about to die, so it's not gonna last that long. Two, because the raised beds, there's not a lot to show right now. This is kind of one of the weirdest springs I've ever experienced in the garden. And three, there was totally a third reason why we weren't gonna spend that long, but I don't remember it. So right now, uh, yeah, let's uh, go take a look at the garden such as it is. And it's a little embarrassing, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna share, this is kind of the reality right now. It's been a really busy couple of weeks. So, um, so you can see my patented chicken keeper outer is keeping the chickens out, but I'm definitely gonna need to get the hardware cloth up there, which I have, I just have not yet used it. So let me see if I can get in here without breaking myself, the camera, or the gate, or my poor chicken keeper outer. Um, I still have some plants that I have to plant. My celery mostly because I have so many, I didn't want them to get ripe at the same time. So I'm kind of succession planting those and I'm figuring out where to put them because right now the celery that I planted first in the raised bed end of the garden is looking so good. It looks like celery now. I'm excited. I may show you that today, even though we're not talking about the raised bed end just because I can. Hey, it's my garden. Why not? Um, all right. There's a lot of onions. Yeah, I mean, if you're here about onions, I have got onions for you. So right now, eh, there are weeds everywhere and I've been weeding. Oh, the first thing I have to tell you is my first potential serious failure of this year, something I tried that I don't think is anything's happening with. Um, let's take a look real here at my grape propagation station. Not much going on there. I think that time when we had the two weeks where the weather was over 90, I didn't realize I should have had a little more shady area for my grapes to keep them happier. And although I watered them every day, or mostly every day, um, I just don't think that they're gonna work out. I'm gonna leave them for a few more weeks and see if anything happens. But if they don't work out this year, I'll just try again next year. I've got plenty of grapevines that are gonna need trimmed anytime soon. And I may try some soft propagation because those are hard cutting propagation. I may try some soft just to see if that goes better. Um, yeah, I just should have had a place with better shade. So I'm pretty sure that those are a fail. Oh yeah, the third reason why I have to keep my video shorter is because right now my internet and my computer are collaborating together to make it take hours to upload anything over 10 minutes. I mean, and sometimes hours means three days. So this has got to be quick and I'm going to talk fast because otherwise you may never see this because mm, my computer. Mm. All right. Um, tomatoes. My second batch of tomatoes. Can you see those? No, you can't. Let's see if you can angle you there. Oh, look, there's a tomato. Um, looking good. So they are bouncing back, getting taller. They obviously would have been a lot farther along if not for the freeze that we had. But the second group is coming along strong on this end. These tomatoes, <laughs> tomatoes, sorry. There's nothing else in this bed here yet because I'm not sure exactly what I want to put by the tomatoes and I have these onions. Look at these onions. So these are the onions from my last 
year's onions that sprouted after I harvested them. Um, so I just, you know, I'm like, I'll just cut those little sprouts out and plant them, see what happens. They're huge and they're taking up like half of my bed space. I don't know if I need that many onions. So I might pull some and do a stir fry because mmm, nummy. Um, my asparagus, I'm letting fern. This is only the second year for it. And we picked some um, and it's looking pretty good. Hopefully you can see that because it's pretty bright out here. But I can't wait until eight o'clock to get this done because I have things to do, places to go, people to see. And mostly I just want to relax a little bit tonight at some point. So, um, these tomatoes as well are looking good. This is, let's see, I've got the Bonnie Best, the Beefsteak Pink, and that one is, I think, the Wapsicani Peach. I think that's how you say it, but it just sounds fun. Wapsicani Peach. So, if that's not how I say it, someone corrects me. But make it fun to say too, because otherwise I'll be sad. All right, garlic. Mmm. This is the hardneck garlic. It is looking pretty good. I've got some lettuce coming back from what I planted in the winter. Let's see, can you see that? No, there we go. I've got some lettuce coming back, it's getting ready. These are my year old onions. They're the ones that I planted, the second group. You saw those giant, hopefully you saw those giant ones that I pulled to put my tomatoes in. I'll send a link. Now the problem with these, I'm worried if I pull them, the roots are gonna disturb everything else in this bed. So I'm kind of just going to leave them there all summer and see what happens. I don't know how big they'll get. It'll be fun, right? Ooh. Um, but they're... Okay, this one, look, it comes up to here on me. Like, here. Right there. And I mean, granted, there is a, a foot raised bed under it. But still, that's awfully tall for a, an, onion, an onion. Ooh, I can talk. Um, oh! Brad's grape, why are you looking sad? Now you're looking alright. Um, here we go. Can you see those guys? Yeah, kind of, sort of. There we go. Tomatoes. I'm gonna put some more something in there. Probably, I might add some more of the celery in there to see how it does in the raised bed end. I have one, two celeries planted in the raised bed, but most of them are in the hay bales. And like I said, the two that I planted first in the hay bales, looking really good. All right, ooh. Okay, now we're getting to some parts that are exciting and then some parts that I'm mm, grumpy about because the weather. We have had, okay, let me turn this way. There we go, that's better. We have had the weirdest weather, and you know I've already said this before, but after we had that two weeks of torrential rain for 24 seven almost, we had like two weeks of 90 degree weather, and then we had just another week of more rain recently, and now it's kind of perfect. It's kind of a little bit of rain, a little bit of sun, a little bit of rain. It's more like spring, which is nice. Oh, look, Jack Jack wants to say hello. Hi Jack, what you doing you big boy? They like to come along and as you can see, part of the problem here is these, the grasses. It's hard to fight weeds when you're surrounded by fields. Mm. Um, so the edge of the garden has grasses everywhere because I can't do anything with them because I don't want to put any sort of weed killer or anything on them. I just kind of rip them out and throw them to the donkeys, which the donkeys approve of, which is why Jack is here to visit. All right, so here we go. This bed actually has my <laughs> perennial lettuce, which keeps bolting because I'm not picking it enough. Um, and you know, I don't even know what kind of lettuce it is, but it's got some nice, ugh, strong stems in it with the donkeys also love. I've got some corn going. I've got a, oh, this is not looking good. I've got a cauliflower back there. Not a cauliflower, a uh, cantaloupe. Here you go, babe. There you go. You want yours two rockers? Let's see, there you go. Jack is the pickiest donkey. He has to sniff things to make sure he approves of them before he takes a bite. Um, so this bed should be full with beets and radishes and all sorts of things that I planted in March. Bugs and rain, I tell you, bugs and rain. Now I can fight the bugs, which I need to do. Let's go this way. I can fight the bugs, but the rain, yeah, it's, uh. all right. So these actually are some radishes I put in after, um, like three weeks ago. So those are actually coming up. There are some bug issues there. This cantaloupe was looking great and now it's looking unhappy. I have to figure out what's going on with that. It might need a few more new uh, nutrients. I haven't grown the cantaloupes before. Trying them. 
So this area all here, carrots are coming up, but these are over a month. Like those are almost two month old carrots and that's all I got. Um, there is one back there, turnip. Oh, this row, see, and I planted an, another row of radish. There's some radish. Yeah, this, this bed is the weirdest bed. Like these are things that normally just grow like that. And this year, not so much. Same with my lettuces. Oh, I haven't had a fresh salad yet. There, now I can see. Uh, and that's kind of making me grumpy. I would like a fresh salad. Hmm. Um, here I have, this is a little to potato cucumber, which did not like the rain. What are you doing, you little thing? Can you see that? It just looks terrible. Bugs, rain, not sure. Here though, I've got some beans that I planted. Those are coming up. But the thing I'm most excited about in this bed right here are melons. I have planted melons and they're coming up. Okay. So these are cicada sweets. Oh, something's eating that one. You see that? Look at that, that got eaten. Fortunately on these I planted extras, but this one's looking really good. And this one's looking really good. So I'm gonna have some melons, I hope. This is my first time trying the melons. So I've got a number there. On this bed, however, the melons I planted, the Tommy apples were coming up and they were little tiny and I was so excited and I was gonna show them to you and then they're gone. So I plant, I replanted some of those. And those are, those were like, the little Tommies were created. They're from Baker Creek and they were created here in Oregon, in Eastern Oregon. That's East over there, um, <laughs> in Eastern Oregon. And so they should be okay over here. I mean, we have slightly different climates, but it's just mostly the colder in the winter in the East and here it's just wetter in the winter, supposed to be. Mm. So little Tommies, let's take a look here, see if we got any. Notice again, look at this onion. Isn't it fabulous? Okay, look at, can you see that? Look at this and it comes up to this very pretty little about to flower bud. So that's again, one of the onions that I pulled from Sprouts. And I don't know if I'm supposed to let them flower or not. So I'm pulling the flowers off some and not pulling the flowers off others. I've heard people say different things. So as long as I've got so many onions to play with, I'm gonna try both ways. All right. Uh, do we have a melon? Little melon, where'd you go? Nope, nothing. And I just put my new seeds in last weekend, so here. And these are supposed to be Kajari melons. And the problem is, is I think that's a weed, not a melon. But it could be a melon, so I'm leaving it. Yeah. And there are, of course, onions. Lots of onions. Lots of onions. Next time, part of the problem, again, they're all spread out in weird ways and not really organized is because I fit them in around the, I fitted them in around the plants that were here last August when this issue happened. So otherwise they'd be much more organized and I'd have a bed of onions and that would be great and everything else would be easier to plant. Not so much the case when you're kind of working as you go. Eh, um, okay. <laughs> have you seen my artichoke lately? No, it's not a come online. It's just really, have you seen it lately? Take a look. Um, <laughs> this is the artichoke. It's going crazy. We've already got our first artichoke here that needs picked soon. I like to pick them young and tender because then they're super tasty. Um, here, I've got some lovely ferning uh, asparagus. This is from stuff we planted eight years ago when we first got in and it's kind of covered and strange right now but Basil Bell loves to find it and eat it. And I'm not, I'm okay if she eats that. I'm not so good when she tries to pick it out of the bed that I've made. Dogs. Um, this is the soft neck garlic, which is looking pretty gosh darn good. There are some little weeds in every bed. And like I said, it's been raining, so I haven't been out. Um, one of the reasons I want to make this quick is, oh, it's already 14 minutes. Ah, talk faster Ooh, or not as much, one or the other is because I need to get out here and just get some weeding done before the sun really picks up because then we will have the issue of sun, weeds, whoosh, big everywhere. All right, this plant that I wasn't sure of um, and I asked some people about, can you see that? Of course, it's right next to this onion in here. I believe that's a different kind of celery. 
because I planted some celeries, two different kinds in the in August and none of them came up. And so these, I believe is a, are a celery. I'm just letting them grow to see what happens. Now this is a celery I moved and it's just kind of clumping up and being baby. Don't know what happens. That one's over there. Can you see that one? Yes, that one over there is looking much better. Um, those are kind of growing along. And of course there are more onions. The chives look amazing. Don't look at the mess everywhere because it's everywhere. And there are weeds. Ooh, don't pick up the hose and then you don't trip over it when you're talking to the people on the YouTube. Note to self. This is my mint bucket because mint is invasive. There's a cute little frog that lives down in there. So I love the mint bucket. Um, yeah. So, oh, this is another Chinese pink. I put it in, but I put it in after everything else. Just so again, I don't want all my celery getting ripe at the same time. Cause there's no way I can eat that much celery at once. Ooh, the last bed, we're here. Um, my peas are short, but growing. I need to get them wrapped around this way cause they want to lean. Um, and instead of vegetables that I should have here, I have a fine, fine crop of lovely white mushrooms. This is new. Those are pretty actually. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. I wonder if that's good to eat. If that were good to eat, it would be so tasty stir fried. I'm just saying, with the onions, hmm. I'm gonna go put that in the compost. Not right this second though, cause this is too long. Um, this should be all lettuce. Oh, there's some of the Merlot lettuce. There's some more lettuce. I planted this whole bed with lettuce in March. Sorry, there's a spider web thing. Oof bugging me thank you um in March it should be like this big and I should be eating lots of salads I am not I mean I guess every year is different and that's kind of the cool thing about gardening is stuff happens the weather changes climates change no that never happens but things just change and so this year I'm getting I guess I'm getting to experience what happens when the weather is really not our normal system at all. Hmm. Um, this should be spinach. And there is some spinach coming up. This is minutina, which I'm not sure exactly. Oh, look, there's an rock coming back up, finally. This was, again, starting to grow beautifully. Oh, look, there's some more. Oh, good, it might be coming back. Um, oh, sorry, it's okay, baby. Jack, Jack. I just stood up, baby boy. Um, you want to say hello? You want to say hello, you big baby? Oh, there we go. There we go. There's your ears. So yeah, I, you know, I should be picking things. I saw pictures from last year of broccoli heads that were this big and lettuce that was this tall and I got all grumpy, but it's okay. The vegetables will eventually be here. They come back unless I do something totally stupid with them but I do need to come out and spray for bugs. I don't like to, um, but I'm pretty sure that's what's getting most of these now that the weather's, oh, there you go, baby. Uh, oh, there we go, there we go. That the weather's kind of getting itself back together. So that's a quick tour. I just wanted to bring out and see it, show you what's going on, such as it is, but now I need to get back to work. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you come back again so that we can do some more growing and talking about the garden together.